Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are talking about how it is absolutely possible for a woman to casually mention something to her man that will make him see her as no longer wifey material. In most cases, this is absolutely by accident from the woman. Like she does not think that she's revealing anything big, anything bad towards her man. And a lot of women don't think that this is a thing. This video is inspired by a short video that I posted about a week ago where I was showing a man react to what his woman was telling him. His reaction was that he felt like once he heard it, he didn't see her as wifey material anymore and his face and his body language completely changes. Well, after that video, guys, you cannot believe how many messages I got, how many stories I received of men experiencing this in real life. So today, I want to talk about five of those experiences that I think that a lot of you guys could relate to, that maybe something like this has happened in your past, and I wanna talk about it. Because I think it is so important for you men to have standards when you're dating. So if you're in this situation, if this situation happens to you in the future, I want you to know that it is okay to change how you act and change the course of that relationship. Because all too often, we talk about women's intuition, we talk about women's feelings. Well, men have gut feelings too, and they definitely have feelings. Also, if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, so that you don't miss my weekly long format videos and my daily shorts videos. Okay guys, starting with example one, very casual phrases that a woman might use that will tell a man that she's not wifey material. This example came directly from my comments and a lot of you guys related to it. You've experienced it. Here it is. Oh my God, I used to be such a party girl. The biggest thing that men automatically worry about when they hear this from a woman is that she's actually still a party girl. She's just pushing it down because she wants to be with him and she's just presenting this front so he's worried that she is not being genuine because I'll tell you something that if a man ends up getting with a party girl, right? And she just pushes it down and they're going along and everything's great. When things aren't great, when things take a turn, guess what she is more likely to do? She is most likely going to return to her old habits, right? Those are things that she enjoyed doing for a reason and she might utilize it again as an outlet and he doesn't want any part of that. The other part about talking about how you used to be a party girl is are you saying it in a very positive light? Are you seeing it as something like, oh, those were the best times in my life? Because I think that's very telling. If those were the best times in your life and you reference them all the time, right? And you talk about them, you think about them, you wish you could go back like you're living in the past, that tells him that you ideally would welcome that, right? If that was presented as an option to you, that that is the path that you would take if it wasn't like weird, you know, for you to be partying at the age of 30. Once you find the outlet, and believe me, by the time you're in your 40s or 50s, those outlets are there because that's when people that have had kids are old enough to be like on their own. Well, guess what? The party days can reappear for these individuals that have just been waiting for it. So the worst thing that can happen to that man is that he married you 10 years before and now you've spent 15, 16, 18 years together and you all of a sudden want to re-enter this type of lifestyle that he has no interest in. Without even being judgmental, we can kind of all agree that a party girl is not going to have the same boundaries because she's probably out there excessively drinking. She's probably out there late at night. There's probably a mix of women and men. And a lot of times that's sort of the, the single field. There's a lot of singles out there and they're looking to make connections. And so you throw somebody that's in a committed relationship into that environment, it's just playing with fire. The next one is sort of like a part B. I think it still falls under this. It's you're the only guy that has treated me right. Oof, ladies, this is not a good thing to say because it means that your standards are on the ground. It means that you are willing to accept 
anything, right? You didn't value yourself. And the same goes for what I said about the partying is that, okay, if there's been years in between and you have demonstrated your own self-respect for yourself, that's a different story. Like a man will see that. It goes both ways. Okay, going on to example two. This one was wild. This was a story from one of my followers and I'm just gonna read it to you guys. This is what his girlfriend said to him at the time. We could just divorce after. Obviously they're talking about marriage. It's not that big of a deal. The fact that it would mean nothing to her to end a marriage, well, it means that her saying yes to a marriage proposal means nothing. It means her saying yes at the altar to marriage, it means nothing. There essentially is no commitment. Which brings me to another story that a follower sent me, and this is similar, so I'm going to categorize it into the same example. So this follower, this man, he overheard his never married ex, so ex meaning down the line, they ended up splitting, right? But in the moment, it was his wife. He heard her joke with her friends about when she has her second husband. Any kind of talk about the big D, divorce, about second husbands, about second wives. Guys, that's obviously a red flag. It tells you where their mind is at, that that door is even open. For someone that doesn't even think that's an option, like it won't, it won't spill out of them. Like that's just literally, they can't even contemplate it. So they're not joking about it. I think that someone can say very easily, oh, it's just a joke, like it's just lighthearted. But I think that there always has to be a little bit of truth for something to be funny. And if that's your woman that's saying that as a man, you're not gonna think it's funny. Moving on to example three, this is getting into the idea of infidelity. In this situation, the man was talking about how his ex made excuses for her friend that was cheating on her boyfriend. And she was giving that friend positive reinforcement by justifying it. If your girlfriend is justifying cheating of her girlfriend on her boyfriend, it is because she thinks that there are valid reasons to be able to do that behavior. Guys, you want the girl that doesn't wanna hang out with her girlfriend anymore because of her behaviors, or at the very least is not afraid to tell her girlfriend upfront how wrong it is and that she's not okay with it and that she needs to be rethinking it and is being a real friend. In any case, I don't think that's what ended up happening because the guy did end up dumping her and he ended up telling the boyfriend that was getting cheated on. Good choices, bravo for that guy. Moving on to example four. This I've heard multiple times from multiple guys. This example is when a man opens up thinking that his woman is gonna be supportive and will lift his spirits when he really needs it. Well, unfortunately, that's not what happens. And there's a variety of different ways in which a man will feel like he's not being supported. Or maybe he might get like a little bit of just mediocrity, but then it ends up getting thrown in his face later on. That confirms to him that he is at it alone. And why is a man going to wanna to take you as a wife if he's going to be alone in the relationship anyways? It makes sense why he's not going to view a woman like that as wifey material. Last example, guys, number five. This is pretty much anything that contradicts what he wants in life. One of my followers was in a situation that I don't think should happen if you're being open and honest early on when you're dating. What happened was that after dating for weeks, this woman turns around and tells the man that she's Polly. There's really no reason that should be happening. Like that should be upfront. It's just like if you're a mom or you're a dad, you should be putting that upfront. You know, there's some reasons, I guess, on some dating apps that you wouldn't wanna put that because maybe you're inviting predators, but once you make a connection, and especially once you're going on dates, for you not to talk about a huge part of your life or anything that really impacts a future relationship long-term, you're purposely hiding it, okay? And that means you're not being truthful. And 
any man that sees that in you is not going to consider you as wifey material anymore. The bottom line is just like how women have this picture of who her husband will be and how he will treat her, men also have a picture of who his wife will be. And this includes the values and the belief system that she has. So when his girlfriend acts in a way that contradicts this image, he loses the desire to pursue her. And unfortunately, there's no going back from that. And for men, honestly, that you're not her moment that they experience, it stinks. It's not fun. It's not like they're like a yes, that's right, this confirms my worries. Like before that, he was probably developing feelings for you. Like it was right at that point, right when he's starting to really get attached to you. And then he has that moment. It just, it really stinks. If any of you guys have had similar experiences, please put them in the comments below. I might make a part two to this series if you're interested in it. As always, I hope you guys have a good week and I will see you next time.